we own a company called Bad Wolf Engineering, and what we do is we sponsor and assist entrepreneurs in creating technology to build up companies and then sell them off in long term, usually a 10-year run. Uh, right now, we have a list of companies in the pipeline. One of those companies is called DrainBot. And we're very excited on where it's where it's progressed and how fast it's moving. And I'm um, looking to get some feedback from you guys about where we are and where we want to go. So what is, what is the problem that DrainBot is trying to solve? Um, most of you guys are familiar with HVAC units that are in homes and residential areas. Central AC units have the main unit inside the home with an exterior or external unit attached. Uh, what that interior unit does is it cools and heats the home, creates condensation, which floods outside the home via drainage pipe. In Florida, what we have more than, more than often is that mold grows in that drainage pipe due to the air coming up in, meeting with the water. The mold grows, fills the hole, or fills the drain line, and then the water comes back up and it actually floods the home, causing uh, thousands in damages. Sometimes you have to replace the HVAC unit itself. Um, it comes up the walls, ruins the floors, all kinds of craziness happens. That's the problem we're trying to solve because it's clearly not being solved currently in today's world. So we did some validation once this idea came to us and said, hey, this is a problem. Uh, we reached out to uh, tons of different companies, tons of different experts in the field saying, yes, this is actually a problem. Craig Brown is the one who brought us the idea. He has plenty of experience in it himself. Um, he said all kinds of things. And we found that uh, most of the HVAC calls are actually for this issue of the flooding of the HVAC unit. And uh, that the, the, the technology to actually solve this problem instead of a reactive solution is actually invaluable to property management owners across, across the country. So we're very excited about that. Um, we had to look at what is currently being out there and what kind of competition are we looking to, uh, to compete with. Uh, we found that most people are just telling their tenants and their property owners, um, such as rental complexes and stuff like that, they're telling their, their tenants to simply flush their AC drain line with bleach once a month. Uh, one, we found that it was only slightly effective at best. It's not even very effective at all. Um, and then people don't do it. It's a out of sight, out of mind. People forget. A lot of you are probably thinking right now, we actually don't even do that at all. You know, it's kind of strange. So, um, well, that's what we found is that we, we need to, we need to find a solution that's automated. Uh, they have smart detection devices, which don't work. Um, I've, I've shot many videos that show, look, it's flooding and there's a smart detection device right there. Not doing anything. Um, and then people say, we'll just have a professional come out and blast the line, which is expensive and reactive, and insurance companies will pay for it. That's not a solution. So those are the main things that we're competing with, which are very easy to compete with. Look over here, there we go. So what did we do? We created a device that sits in the same AC closet that you see here on the right. And what it does is it injects a cleaning solution into your drain line daily, so that every single day, the mold that's in your drain line will be killed off and flushed back out the line. Um, this is a proactive solution, the only one, and uh, we have all kinds of cool uh, gadgets attached to it, so you can control it remotely. It'll send data back and forth to insurance companies, HVAC providers, yourself, property owners, um, and it can also uh, be installed within minutes by somebody who's not experienced in technology. So it's very easy. It's a subscription-based model in which we send you the bottles, and it just works. Uh, that's the beautiful part, is it really takes the thought and worry of this problem away from property owners who deal with this every single year and pay thousands of dollars every single year. We're looking to target AC companies, uh, rental agencies and property management firms first. These are the people who see the problems and have the customers and want to have this technology installed. Homeowners are uh, next after that once we're a little more established. Homeowners will only purchase, we found through experimentation, they will only purchase uh, if they have the problem currently. So if they have the water on the floor and they're calling somebody and they just paid somebody, it is at that moment that they will buy a drain bot. If it's the next day, they say that it's, it's, uh, it's, it's done and done, don't worry about it next time. Uh, so we're really targeting these AC companies, rental agencies, and property management firms. And lastly, insurance companies who have been more than interested, including home warranty companies, uh, because it means less claims for them and less payout for them overall and happier customers. Uh, we're doing resale, direct sale, and wholesale. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this, so I'd like to cover it. Uh, resale to these HVAC companies who then sell it to their customers. Um, it's an excellent option because a lot of people are very excited about it and it, it creates a, a revenue trail for them as well. Uh, direct sales through trade shows and corporate website. And then wholesale, we have a couple connections in the big box stores. They require a certain level of demand that we are waiting to. Uh, we're, looking to do about, we're looking to do that in about uh, year two or year three is to go to these big box stores. I think Home Depot is the number one on that list so far. It costs us $24 to make a unit. 
and we're selling for a hundred dollars. And the number one question I get is uh, why is it so cheap? So I'm very encouraged that we're able to get that so low. Um, the refill bottle is $9 per year for, for, for us to make and $36 per year for a customer. So as you can see, our models are pretty good. We don't have enough room for competitors to dive in there and we're not, uh, we're not uh, cutting ourselves out too much. Um, and then overline, or the online portal that we're providing for customers, um, if you have less than 100 units, uh, it's free and it costs. And if you have more than 100 units, we're asking you to pay $10 a month to maintain the system. Uh, it currently costs us $7 a month total, not per customer total. Um, so it's, it's very cheap. That's where we use the Azure online platform to, to provide that. It's, it's excellent. Um, so those of you who are financial gurus, uh, who've got questions about that, feel free to ask about this. And I'd love to, love to go more in depth. So before we can do anything, we had to come up with an awesome team. And we've been working with these guys for about, uh, about a year, year and a half now. One of them is on this call, Kenzie Fitzpatrick. Uh, amazing uh, team of uh, qualified experts in their fields from anywhere between marketing to business ownership, engineering, and uh, IT management, all, all kinds of stuff. Each one of them plays a pivotal role in how we make this company succeed. And uh, in Battle of Engineering, every company has a board like this so that we can, we can go in the right direction and be guided in the right direction. In addition, we come onto forums like this and get more advice from experts such as yourselves who've been in the field to see what's going on. So with that said, this is my contact information. Um, now that you know who we are, what we do, what we're trying to solve, and kind of we'll talk a little bit more about where we are in the, in the question and answer. Um, I love to hear your feedback, hear any advice that you have for business ownership and business management as we go forward. And if you have any experience in the industry, I'd love to hear about it. Um, and Jessica, I think you have a question for me. Uh, 